Okay, so I'd just like to say hi, my name is Samuel Spagnola, technically. Um, my, the title of my most the narrative was hearing issues. Um, basically, I explained that when I was younger, I had several he hearing problems, which almost made me deaf at one time. Um, this, in turn, um, slurred my speech because the way I was hearing things was wrong, which made my speech actually wrong. Um, the reason for the problem was that tubes in my ears never developed um, right, so they put this little piece of plastic in my ear, I remember it, barely. Um, it was a little green piece of plastic they put in my ear to, um, to stretch out the tubes to help them develop. After the surgery, my parents told me there was a frog in my ear, which may seem pretty ridiculous today, but at the time, it was like pretty cool. I mean, I had a frog in my ear, and I'd ask them to show me, but they never showed me, because Obviously, there wasn't a frog in my ear. So I just went along with that at the time. Um, after this, I went to a speech counselor, uh, which helped, helped me uh, correct all the errors with my speech at the time. Anyway. Also, I was put in classes in school to help me get on uh, track with pronouncing words and spelling them. This also helped fix my problem with speech. I was always a little bit um, behind in school because... Of that I was like at one time was like a year or two behind all the other kids um, this surgery and procedure helped me avoid becoming deaf and actually hearing things better which once again helped me speak correctly currently I'm still affected this problem with a slight lisp which sometimes makes it harder for a general speech with conversation there's always criticism every somebody's always criticizing me because I have a lisp um, it's pretty embarrassing um, when people bring it up and make fun of it because it's something I really can't control. I mean, that's something that happened to me at birth. Thankfully, um, the other bad parts of my speech um, have faded, but sadly, I have a lisp that continues to haunt me today. I mean, I mean, I treat it as not a big deal, but some people can't deal with it. Well, that's it.